Okay, so these are um, Axelf inclines running server 2012 as um, a remote desktop server. So here we go, server 2012 and a Windows 8 type login screen. Around the back of this 24 inch monitor we've got a Axelf thin client. That's an M80G. So I'm just going to log in as this test user. Hopefully I've got the password right. Yep, here we go. So that's pretty much it. So uh, when a user logs on, it's fairly quick to log on. Um, this is using a uh, mandatory profile that I've created. So you can see the pinned icons down the taskbar. And um, we've got paper cut running there. So I've got this going straight to the uh, desktop at the moment. Um, but you can set it to go to the start screen if you want. So I can click on the, there. And uh, at the moment, I've not got much on the start screen in this mandatory profile. But you've got IE, desktop. The way I've got it set up at the moment is control panel is locked down as is um, computer. So they can't do anything. So I go back to the desktop and uh, just fire up some applications. So Word, for example. And uh, they uh, load up pretty quickly. And um, we've got various things pinned along the taskbar, some serif applications, Scratch. Um, down here we've got Google Chrome, which we use as the default browser. Now what I haven't got it doing at the moment is recognizing the fact that I want it has a default browser and that's our school web portal that takes you to Google Apps and all those sorts of things. Um, in terms of what students can see in um, here, in the mandatory profile I've uh, locked it down so all they get is uh, documents. We've got Land School on here as classroom management running at the same time. And in computer um, there is a student share which is um, just a regular network share. So that's using regular Server 2008 R2 group policies and it all seems to uh, work pretty well. I've got um, volume control on there simply because down here I've limited what students can do so there isn't anything other than the time down there. And there's a couple of regular icons that I've sent out there by group policy. So I want to log off, go to the start screen, click on test 2010 and sign out. And uh, that's it really.